Welcome, this is JP and another episode of Learn Brizzy Page Builder. Today we look at a plugin for which I have to thank Darren Saunders for introducing to me because it allowed me to do something in Brizzy which Brizzy currently cannot do. And I'll also show you a little bit about the power of this plugin. Many of you may be familiar with it called CSS Hero. But before we go into CSS Hero, this is the page that I had shown you last time when we looked at Happy Forms. And if you look at this page, you will maybe notice something that is currently not possible in Brizzy. Give you a few seconds. Do you see it? Well, here we go. It is the drop shadow that is applied to this one that says Sablon Presents. This can currently not be done with Brizzy out of the box. Many other page builders can. And some people will ask me, why on earth do you want to add a drop shadow? Well, many times, you know, especially if you have a dark background and you have dark text, you may want to apply a light drop shadow in your text on your text so that it can help your text stand out from the background. So I like to use that, especially when I have my text on a background or on a header or a hero image. And currently, Brizzy cannot do drop shadows yet for text. It can do it for boxes, but it still needs to bring it to text. The other reason why I had looked at CSS Hero, and I'll show you now why, is we had made this form here at the bottom. And one of the subscribers had asked me about it, and I had hoped no one will notice. But yes, it is horrendous. The font that is used here is Times New Roman. Now, you may have a secret love affair with Times New Roman, but I completely despise this font, um, purely because I work with a lot of people whose main emails are set to Times New Roman. And every time I get Times New Roman, I kind of freak out. Right. So if you are like me, then this form just looks really bad. I had spoken to Happy Forms and we had deduced that this has got nothing to do with Happy Forms because I had tested it in other page builders and it adopts the font of the theme. So the problem is here because Brizzy overrides the theme, and you get this basic font that shows up. And this is what made me think of CSS Hero. And I decided, is it possible that I can actually go and manipulate this font? Now, first of all, I don't like short codes. I don't like CSS. I'm not that person. I'm one out of the box. I've got so many other things to do. I don't have time to go and learn these extra things. So I'm not at that level where people can go in and do coding. So that is why Darren had suggested to me this plugin. And I had played around with it and I tried it on Brizzy and yes, it worked very well. So first of all, let me quickly introduce you then to this plugin called CSS Hero um, here over here. Now CSS Hero is a plugin that you can install basically on any theme. And you know, if you've ever played around with any of these free themes on WordPress, you will know how limited they are, but basically, CSS Hero brings you the control power of a theme developer, not ultimately, but to a great extent. So if you go to CSS Hero, you subscribe, and currently I know they're running a special, you go into your dashboard, and over here you download it like you would do with any other plugin. And then when you go to your WordPress dashboard, you will go to your plugins, and of course you will add it there. I'm not gonna do that, we are already there, you can see my CSS Hero is here. Now, where do you go from here, my lovely? You go to your pages. So I'm going to go to all pages. And that page that we worked on is this one called Sublon Bittersweet Carousel. And if I click on it, it opens up our normal WordPress editor. Now, this is where you have to remember a few things. Do not click on continue to edit with our lovely Brizzy, but click up here on customize with CSS Hero. It's going to open the page as Brizzy had worked on it. And then it's going to create basically frames or selections based on what it reads on your page. Now I had already applied the shadow here, so I don't want to go too much in it, but you can see as I hover the mouse over the element, these bounding boxes appear. So let's go to this icon and I just show you as I hover over it, you can see there's a section, but as I hover over the icon, 
it also selects the icon individually. So I click on it, and before I do that, observe what happens here on the left. When I click on it, it opens a drop-down menu of various selections that I can go into. Now, what I am going to do here is I'm just going to play around with it to show you how you can manipulate what Brizzy has already done. So I'm clicking on it, then I go to borders and I apply a border there. Let's make it a few pixels. Immediately you see the border. Ugly, right? Who on earth wants to do that? But let's look at it in more detail. Go to spacing, click in here, which will be your padding. And I rem let's increase it. Ah, okay, so let's do that also. I'm just gonna type it in, type in. Oh, okay, wait, let me, I know it's able to drag as well. Maybe, oh yeah, yeah, you just click here and you drag. There you go, you see? And click here and drag to the right. Look at that. There's already a bounding box now for your icon. And I guess then border radius, we go in here. It's you, yeah. So this is now all applied on top of your Brizzy, as easy as pie. And if you're not very happy with what you've done, those things that you have made changes to, you will see these dot, dot, dot. If you hover over it, it will give you this reset, this property. So we just applied the border radius. We made our corners. If I click on reset this property, it will remove it. But actually, that's pretty nice, right? And I'm pretty sure if you go all the way, you're going to be able to create a circle. And that is very funky looking. Oh, I like it. Yes, very nice. Almost alien-like or a mushroom, or something out of Halo. Okay, right. Um, so you can see you, you go into your page, you edit your page with Brizzy, and then afterwards you come and customize it. This would be my workflow, is that you come afterwards and customize it. So remember what I mentioned at the beginning was this problem that I had with this form and giving me this horrendous Times New Roman. Again, apologies to all the Times New Roman fanboys out there. Now, what I'm going to do, you can see the small bounding box around email, click on it, and then I'm going to go to topography, and here on font family, I'm gonna click on this drop down here, and let's go choose um, Roboto, railway. Let's go chase, choose railway. Now, the problem you're gonna run into here is that you will have to, for various categories in the form, choose again and again, your font. For example, we updated it here, but we didn't update these. But if I click on this header, and then again, we go to topography, and again, we choose railway. Okay, wait, I remember I have to scroll around again and choose railway. There we go. Now it has updated this title, but it has updated all the titles. So you don't need to go and click on all the titles repeatedly to update that. So let's go again here in rock. Same procedure like last year. Okay, I'm just going to click around back to railway and you see again, it has updated all of that. So the only thing we still need to do here is these guys up here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ah, nice. You see, and that's it, it's done. Oh, beautiful. And that is why I had thought of CSS Hero the moment I got into this form and one of the subscribers asked me, hey, JB, that's just Times New Roman, <laughs> yes. Right, so another thing that you have to be aware of that if you go into the Brizzy page builder, it will not display. And you will say, okay, we've done all this work, but it's not displaying. But all you need to do is you click again on the preview here, and when you get there, it will show you those changes that you've made. So like I said, you can go through here, Ast Astra is here, um, I saw B theme is here. Absolutely, I think almost every theme, X theme, all of them are here. And if you ever want that little bit of extra control over the theme or you want to apply a little bit styling afterwards, then CSS Hero is the way to go. But one thing I need you to be aware of, don't come blame me afterwards, is that, okay, save and publish, I'm just gonna click here on quit, is that if you are using Astra, and you apply CSS Hero. CSS Hero is putting those changes on your theme, which means that if you decide later you want to switch to something like Ocean WP, 
it's going to override that and it, you will lose all your changes that you have made in CSS Hero. So you cannot go switching between themes once you have used CSS Hero. Just be aware of that or find your worker around, around that because if you apply it and then you change your theme later, your theme is gone, CSS Hero is also gone. You have to apply those things from the beginning. But to me, the fact that I now have this ability to go in and style those Times New Roman fonts, I can put a shadow, I can change my icon, I can put a box around it. I can do a lot of things that Brizzy cannot do, currently cannot do. And many other page builders, all of them have some areas that they are not very strong in. And this is where I would highly recommend you just try out CSS Hero. Please, if you are interested, click on the link below. That is an affiliate link, so it will take you to their website. They've got a special going on at the moment. In fact, I feel they've got the special going on all the time. So make use of it. If you especially think of, you know, those basic themes that you can get on WordPress, then CSS Hero is a great companion for those. Of course, like any affiliate link, you will not be paying anything more, but I will be getting a few cents in the empty bank account. So until the next video, this is JP. Have a lovely day.